Hi, pen pals. We have a brand new pen uh, today. This is a, another very, very inexpensive Chinese pen. This is the um, Monami Olika pen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of those names right. Um, I saw this on eBay and I thought I'd give it a shot. It's $3.98, including shipping, all the way from China. Um, it's a very, very light plastic pen. Um, it only weighs 15 grams, but it is a pretty, pretty good um, deal as we'll go through it. So $3.98. With that, you get the pen and it comes in this package and you do get three cartridges in the matching colors. So the pen comes in a bunch of different colors. I got the orange one here and it did come with some orange cartridges, which um, I had, have not tried the ink yet. I will at some point, but of course I wanted to use my own ink in a converter. So I was able to scrounge up a standard international converter that fit. It doesn't fit every standard international converter. I had to try a couple of different ones. So I was able to find one that came off uh, another inexpensive Chinese pen that I was able to, to fit on here. So um, immediately thought comes to mind is this is uh, uh, was would have been a nice uh, competitor, perhaps to the Platinum uh, Preppy. It's um, it's a little cheaper. Um, uh, the you know the unlike the Preppy, you can put a standard international converter in it. Um, and also, unlike the Prepper, you cannot eyedropper this pen because it does have a, a hole in the end of the barrel. So um, you, you wouldn't be able to eyedropper it. But, it, you know, it does, it could definitely make give the, the Platinum Prepper a run for its money. So let's go through what we're looking at here. So again, a light um, uh, uh, pen, like I said, um, uh, 15 grams. Fairly standard size here, just compared to Alami Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. So you can see it's right in line with these pens. It is a snap to open cap. Um, it does post and post quite nicely. Um, it has the branding on the clip where it says Monami Olika. Um, and this is sort of uh, in like a painted on label. If you wanted to get rid of that, you could probably use like Simicron polish or any of the other techniques that would remove a label, say from a Platinum Preppy. It's one of these sort of painted on label type things, but uh, that doesn't bother me. It actually, uh, that looks fine. Um, it's a fairly bright orange color, pretty translucent. It posts quite nicely and quite solidly and is very comfortable and light. It has this really nice pebbled rubber grip on the section. So if you like these sort of grippy rubber sections you're going to really like this it's really got some, a really nice grip uh, to it and it's a nice long section you have a lot of different places to grip it um, the cap has an an integrated cap liner it's not a separate piece but there is a little ledge there and you can clearly see where this rim at the top uh, snaps in to um, to uh, seal and this does actually seal quite well um, I've had this uh, sitting for you know a day or two or three and it, it doesn't it seems to write right away so it's it, very effective with that seal the clip itself is nothing spectacular it's molded and integrated into the cap um, it does feel a tiny bit flimsy but really what do you expect um, but it does get the job done and it, it, it can clip um, it can clip effectively. Like I said, it comes with cartridges. It does not come with a converter. I was able to find this converter that uh, that worked for it, and that converter seems to be working just fine. Uh, speaking of fine, this is a fine point nib. Um, it's got a little scroll work, no breather hole, a little slit, and then an F for fine, and that's it. Um, it's got sort of little wings on the side, which is interesting, which one would think maybe they have these little cutouts to give it some flex, but as you'll see, when you write, there's not much really in the way of flex really here at all. It's just a, um, uh, it's a very nice writing pen as you'll see, but really nothing much uh, per se in the way of flex. Um, but that is that nice, inexpensive um, uh, uh, Chinese made pen. Oh, one other thing that's worth pointing out, the shape of the barrel is quite nice actually. It's sort of an hourglass shape. It starts out, um, uh, uh, you know the same width as the section then it gets narrower and then it gets a little bulbous towards the end and then tapers off so it does it is it is comfortable to hold that that sort of skinny part kind of lines up right in the notch of your hand so it actually it's it's i think a very very well designed pen and i think this the quality on this is definitely um a more than you would expect for a pen that's not even four dollars and i think it's nice you get three cartridges to be honest with you three cartridges alone uh uh, or worth a couple of bucks. Um, I haven't tried this ink in here, or maybe I'll do that on a subsequent 
uh, episode, but it looks like nice matching orange ink uh, uh, to the pen. But so I think comes in a nice little package, three cartridges, pen, $3.98. I think that is a great, great deal. But, 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 of course, pens were meant to write, and you would love to know, I'm sure, how this pen writes. We're going to find that out right now. Okay, folks, what we're writing with here is a Monami. Olika. And um, this has a steel nib that is fine. And I think that's an accurate description. It's a, it's a fine. <coughs> um, in terms of flex, no, not going to happen. But um, it is quite smooth. And it flows quite well. And I'd say this definitely is definitely outperforming what one would expect on a under $4 uh, pen. It's a light pen, so that may be the only downside I would say to it, but what do you really expect for an all, pretty much all plastic um, uh, $4 pen? But uh, beyond that, it really writes quite, quite well. Like I said, this is a nice platinum preppy alternative to be honest um if you're uh if you if you have your heart set on eye dropping your pen this this obviously isn't going to work but if you're willing to kind of scrounge up a converter for it or give it a shot with the included cartridges um i think uh you'll do pretty well um with this pen it comes in a bunch of colors i think it came in about four different colors or so um i might try some of those out at um at a future date but again i i I really like this. I like the way it writes. Um, it's been reliable and smooth and um, been quite uh, happy with it. Um, in terms of wetness, I'd say it's about average, um, but it is a pretty fine, fine point. But it is, uh, again, pretty pretty nice and um, I'd say this was I was definitely exceeded my expectations I didn't I did not have high expectations for a, a, an inexpensive pen from a brand that I was not familiar with um, and um, uh, this definitely exceeded them so very very happy with this pen um, I have pens that cost quite a bit more than this that don't write nearly as well as this so good 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 uh, 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 pen. Uh, in terms of the nib size, it's a small-ish nib. It's not a tiny nib. So here it is compared to the Pilot Metropolitan nib. So it's a bit smaller than that nib, but again, not a tiny nib um, by uh, by any means. All right. I think that's about it for this pen. Let's take a quick look at this ink. Okay. This ink is pretty new to the market. This is Twisby orange they just simply call it orange um, I got this is a fairly new ink that I I, re, I just got fairly recently it's um, part of the set the the Twisby six ink set that they recently came out with to sort of introduce themselves into the ink business it comes in these really nice frosted glass uh, bottle um, but a really nice top I mean they really package this quite quite uh, nicely um, uh, and um, this is a pretty nice shade of orange, I have to say. Um, uh, you know, I got this after I shot. I shot a video a couple of months ago reviewing a whole bunch of different orange inks. It's a shame I didn't have this one in the video, but I didn't have this ink at the time. But uh, very, very nice uh, orange shade, pretty color. Um, you know, it it's, uh, matches the pen pretty well. Um, so all in all, very, very pleased with this um, with this Twisby ink. I think Twisby did a pretty good job on this set so far of the colors that I've tried and um, we'll keep going as I do subsequent uh, pen reviews and I'll work my way through uh, all six of those um, inks. So if you want to check out the original video on this set of six, I, I did some writing with the sky blue ink that was in that set and now we have the orange and well, like I said, I'll work my way through the full set. So that's what this ink looks like on this Rhodia paper. Let's take a quick look at what it looks like on uh, Tomoe River paper. Okay, folks, like we said, this is Twisby. Orange. And this is on Tomoe River paper. It 
And um, again, like I said, pretty, pretty nice ink. It does shade a little bit here, but not what I would call a high, uh, high shading ink, but there is a, a little bit of color variation going on here. And I just think it looks, looks just super nice on this, uh, on this Tomoe River paper. It looks nice in general um, and a pretty, pretty nice ink. So pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, selection this week. Got a really nice new pen, got some nice new ink that uh, first time using it and um, a pretty good uh, set of ink and paper this week. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know certainly I enjoyed making it. Um, if you did, please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. Please leave a comment or two. And as always, until we meet again, have a great day. Bye-bye.